Hello, everybody. <coughs> Dark Phoenix Gaming here, and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 in my Wolf Vengeance series. Last time we left off, we had just met up with Garrus, who turned out to be Archangel. And we now have to help him fight through Eclipse, Blood Pack, and Blue Sun, and make sure th the bastards don't kill him. So that we have a snowball's chance in hell of actually pulling out a win in this fight, among other things. And we are currently fighting a bunch of blood packs of Orcha friends. of my shields being just thin pieces of paper continues. In any case... I don't see... Oh. Hey, Zaid. Uh, how do you feel about killing this bastard for me? <laughs> Fucking hell, I hit the wrong button. Great. Uh, we're in restart mode. Again. Lovely. Come on, then. We have another battle to win. They get the other weapon out. You got it. I'll switch over to that particular one. If you just kill them, shield. Anyways, wait for the shields to reach in. Of course I would get up bloody close to the guy with the flamethrower and then fail to kill him in time. Of course I would. <coughs> I did warn you, did I not, that I was playing this on the hardest difficulty and that I would probably die a lot. Because I am, and the, the die a lot is certainly f happening. Come on, then. Taking fire. Burning an impact gun. 
let's bring it down. Rush on. Helpful here. Translation, as nice as it is to have backup, I could do to have you taking a few more bloody action. There we go. Get back then, get the fuck back. And in fact, I think this shotgun time. This is why I hate fighting people with flamethrowers in bloody close quarters. It's a pain in the ass. So then, let's keep doing it. Because that's what you do when something's pissing you off. You keep on fucking doing it because reasons. Change weapons. Got up too close before I could finish him. And yeah. My warning of I'm probably going to die a lot, beware, is proving somewhat accurate, wouldn't you say? And on this occasion, I think I'm gonna let Zaid keep his current weapon. <laughs> In the short time it took me to make that charge, they've already depleted my shields. Now do you see what I mean when I compared the shields on Insanity difficulty to thin pieces of wet toilet paper? That's basically what they are. And in fact, I may be being a tiny bit too generous with that assessment. Wet toilet paper could probably stand up to more than this thing. There's a console near the shutters. Come on. First things first, get the shotgun out. And equip that. Okay. Can't target them. 
Yes. Did not manage that in time. Thanks to some random buffoon with a gun. <sighs> I apologize for the lackluster commentary right now, but that's primarily down to the difficulty and the fact that the very close spaces in this area make it kind of tricky to try and maneuver. So most of my focus is going to be on the gameplay, rather than the commentary I'm providing. And if you don't like that, well, deal with it, is basically all I have to say to you then. You don't like that, then deal with it. charge without my shield, and that is what I get. Make a note of that, anyone who's planning to play this game on insanity difficulty. Do not charge down an open court or lacking in cover without your shield being fully recharged uh, against a couple of fucking Vorcha. You will die. You will die until you are very dead. And I don't care how little sense that makes, it will happen anyways. Jackass with the flamethrower and, and the other one. Down. God damn. Okay, this is getting annoying. But I am not lowering the difficulty. I'm not. I will not fucking lower the difficulty. Don't even ask. The answer is no. The difficulty is not getting lowered. I will beat this game on insanity if I'm here until the end of time. I don't even care. Bring the 
those idiots down. Now over to the shotgun. I think I basically ensured my death there. Okay. They've been dealt with. I'm almost dead. Another blood pack trooper over there. Okay. Now, you load your gun. Commencing shutdown. And hit the shutdown button. Zaid blast them. We just need to keep them back until the shutter is well shut it. There. That's one. That's one of them. We've got hostiles on the bridge, but we're holding. Good. I'm going to need to grab more ammo for the shotgun. We'll need to resupply in here. I was going to go looking for the ammunition and shit, but I guess not. For now, switch to this gun. Save the game. Just in case and all that shit. <laughs> Zaid, if you would. God. My shields are down. You see, this is why I miss playing as an infiltrator. <clears throat> Cause I could get basically halfway across the bloody room as an infiltrator. <clears throat> Just based on my stealth cloak alone. I could avoid fighting like half those guys and pick them apart with a sniper rifle and everything. Uh, Zaid? You mind? Also, I think you need to eat the snipper rifle now. Okay. Get the pistol out. They threw my shield. Well, pistol being the technical term, it's actually a bloody hand cannon. Because of bloody course, it's a hand cannon. Okay, this isn't working. 
Thank you, Zaid. You're a darling. Son of a bitch. I almost managed it, but I managed to get myself flanked. <coughs> While I was trying to flank someone, I got myself flanked. Lovely. Just lovely. God damn it, Zaid. Define more aggressive for me, Garrus. Because they're plenty aggressive from where I can see. Okay. Now. Just shy of having my shield knocked out in that first bit. Uh. Uh, Zaid, are you a dumbass? Don't answer that. Of course you're a dumbass. You're Zaid. Like I said, he's basically Mass Effect 2's version of Boba Fett, so... He's kind of batshit insane. And we expect this sort of bullshit. Ugh, God. Zaid? Could you please be less Zaid like? As dumb as it might sound for me to be asking you to be less like you. Zaid, god damn it, man. Get through my shields. Yeah, come on, Zaid. Time to Ugh, God. Darn. Damn. More trouble on the bridge. I can't keep up. Incoming. Okay. Commencing shutdown. Pressing time. Zaid, please uh, blast that crow. Good. Let's get back here, Shepard. Okay. What are we getting this time? And am I gonna have to actually fight those couple of guys to get past? Uh, rip them to shreds. Oh, it's you. Watch my back. I'll deal with Archangel. Apparently, we don't have to bother with them. Shepard just killed those Moving sons of bitches off camera. <laughs> Ah, come on. Come on. Uh, 
Incoming! Uh, son of a bitch. Why did I do that? Why did I even do that? I don't know. I can tell you for sure it wasn't intentional, but beyond that, no fucking clue. Moving to cover! Archangel's mine! Hey. I don't have to go through that last piece Broken of bullshit incoming. again. <sighs> I'm sorry, what? Fucking Varen. God damn you, motherfucking Varen. Please die painfully. I would very much appreciate you doing that for me. Thank you in advance for agreeing to suffer a painful death sure because I asked you to. I seen it. I really appreciate it. <laughs> okay, I think we need Got a short enemy charging. That now. Eh, uh, fuck Garm. We have problems of our own down here, Garrett. Garrett, we have our own problem right now. Having trouble. Shotgun out. Oh, dead Krogan incoming. Exploding fast. Ammo. I'm just gonna beat him to death. There. And Garrus, Garrus, he is basically on the edge of death right now. Damn, that was close. But we basically... That was so epic. I mean, I know it's probably a pain in the ass to watch with the amount of times I die, but... Seriously, it's just so enjoyable how at the end of things, like, when I'm actually going through the fights and having to struggle through the battle with my enemies, it's a colossal pain to deal with. But when we actually, when we actually, and I'll go onto the pause menu real quick so I don't have to listen to Garrus telling me to talk to him. Anyways, when we actually get through with it, and we have overcome a challenge, then it's so gratifying that I've managed to finish it. That's why I love playing on Insanity so much. The fact that it's so hard is great, because once I finally overcome the difficulty and the challenge, it just feels that much better to have gotten over that particular hump. And that's the main reason why I enjoy it so much. 
Anyways, my tangent about why I love insanity difficulty so much out of the way. It's time to talk to Garrus about what we're doing next. <laughs>